So today we're going to discuss um, a different kind of function. So yesterday we talked about independent and dependent variables. So you guys know what those are. So now we're going to use a little activity. So I am a storekeeper and you guys are my customers. So my store is called the Real Dollar Street. Mm -hmm. So everything in my store is a dollar. I promise you that much. Everything's a dollar. So who would like to be my customer first? Okay, mm -hmm. Kayla. Okay. So go ahead and pick out your items and let us know what they are. Um, I want this water bottle. Okay. Um, I want the coffee pot. Okay. And I think I need a mug yep, to go with my coffee pot. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, these books are really nice. Yeah, that one's a nice one. And then, um, ooh, I want these pens to to write. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's all I want. That's all you want? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Kayla, how many items do you have? One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So since we have five items, how many dollars do we have? Do you need to buy them? Five. Exactly. So in your hand, could you give me five dollars? Yes. There you go. Perfect. Who wants to go next? I'll go next. Okay, Jamie. Okay. Are you sure about I want these? most of the stuff that you got, actually. <laughs> awesome. Okay. <laughs> okay, these three. So I really like the coffee mug and the coffee maker in the books. Okay. And I'll get the shoes and the shirt. Mm -hmm. They go well together. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Then this dress, oh, that's really pretty. Mm -hmm. And these socks and these rain boots. Okay. So Exactly. Thank you. Okay, Brendan, your turn. Okay. I just okay. read these right now for you because I know you probably want to dress the shoes. <laughs> oh, definitely. I mean, we wouldn't judge you if you got them. Yeah. Well, first I'll go with the elixir of life. Um, <laughs> okay. Water bottle. Okay. Food. Mm -hmm. Medicine. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I'll call it there. Okay, so how many items do you have? Well, it looks like four. Okay, so how many dollars do you owe me? Sixteen. <laughs> Not quite. Four bucks. Perfect. Thank you. So, who can tell me, We, as I mentioned before, we talked about independent and dependent yesterday. So, you can tell me what the dependent variable for this is. Um, is it the items? No. Or is it the money? It's the money. So okay. why, so what does a dependent mean? What does a dependent variable mean? It's dependent on something else. So like the money mm -hmm. is dependent on how much, how many items you get. So if you get five items, mm -hmm. then that means you have to pay five dollars. Mm -hmm. That's why it's dependent. Beautiful explanation. So <coughs> does that make sense, Jamie? Yeah. So can you repeat sense. what Kayla told you? Okay, yeah, the money is dependent because it's dependent on how because mm -hmm. the number of items you buy affects the number of items you buy. Exactly. Beautiful. So, Brennan, what is our independent? Uh, independent would be the amount of items you buy. Exactly. Beautiful. Oh, so because, it's, because it's like the amount of items you buy isn't like really affected by anything. Exactly. Like, exactly. You, exactly. you guys are in charge. The shopkeeper is just there to take the money, but okay. you guys are in charge. So, if we're going to graph this, <laughs> so we're talked about. The y about the y axis being which variable? The, the dependent. 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 So we make like this is dependent. And if you can't read it, let me know and I'll erase it and rewrite it. And then our x axis x axis is what? Independent. Independent. I'm just gonna do that. And then so what was our x axis x axis then if there was an independent? The amount of items. Number of items. And then what was our Y? The money. 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 So if we are going to graph what we just did, so let's so Brendan, can you come up here and graph for me? So why don't you graph Kayla's items? So how many items did you have, Kayla? Five. So go ahead and graph that. So how much money did, did it cost you? 
five dollars. So it'd be five five. So instead of writing five five, let's use these. So it was five items for five dollars. And then Jamie, what was yours? Um, I had eight items. So she had eight items, so how many dollars? Eight dollars. And then you had, how many items did you have? Uh, four. Okay, so how many dollars? And then could you draw a line to connect those? It's not going to be completely straight, but close. Yeah, it's hard to make those really straight. Yeah, it is really hard. You need a ruler. Yeah, you need yeah. a grid line. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Does anyone have any questions about this graph? Um, is it possible to go into any of like the other parts of the graph with this? What do you mean? Like the other sides of it. So or like this side? Yeah. Well, so think of this side. So if this is our x and this is our y, yeah. what is negative? Oh, I guess you can't do it. Can you have something that costs negative dollars? No. That and then could you have anything. negative no. items? No. So you can only use that part of the graph? Mm -hmm. For this example. Okay. But if you were using any other example, you could have negative, right? Okay. Yeah. That's a great question. Thank you. Like temperature. Yeah, temperature oh, you could have yeah. negative. Things like that, but this specific is just in this. Okay. Just in, and what quadrant is this? Do we know? One. One. Right. Is is the y-axis always dependent and the um, x is always independent? Yes. Why? Okay. Is that just how math works? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is how math works. I don't know the exact definition of y, but we always do x and then y. So in the coordinates. You always do x comma y. Oh, it's just the way the coordinate plane is. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just the way the coordinate plane is. You always do x first. Always. So x is always independent. Comma dependent. Exactly. Okay. So I can write it like that. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. So yeah. now we're going to discuss. What if we had a different store? So let's call this store Hugly Wuggly. So this store, you have every item is two dollars. So every item is two dollars. So who would want to be my customer? I'll go first this time. Okay, Jamie. Okay. So everything's two dollars. Everything now? is two dollars. Okay. Then I'm probably gonna get. Oh, I didn't even see the iPhone last time I was doing this. <laughs> okay, I want that and the TV. That's so cute. I know, that's really cheap. <laughs> and this for my phone. Okay. And I'll just get those. Okay. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, six dollars. Beautiful. And how did you do that? Um, yeah, I just counted for two dollars for each item. Mm -hmm. Or you could have done what? What's another way you could have found how many dollars? Multiple. Exactly. So you could have done three times what? Four, five, six. Times two. Beautiful. Thank you. So Who would like to be the next person? We'll do this one more time. So, I'll do it. Okay, Kayla. Okay, I'm going to switch that up. <laughs> this time, I want some medicine. Okay. Um, some tennis shoes. That's a steal. $2. And some playing cards. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> and, no, I don't like a phone. I want a Pepsi. No. Um, <laughs> and a towel. So that's what I want. Okay, so how many items do you have? One, two, three, four. Okay, and if everything is two dollars, how much would that cost? Four times two equals eight. Okay, so eight dollars. Beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so someone other than Brendan who would like to graph these points. Oh shoot.
then you had four for eight? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we were to connect this, so let's make another one. Let's do one item. So how much money would that cost? Two dollars. Okay. And so if we had, yeah, two dollars. Should we go on this one? Or just like, it should, would it go on that one? one? No. Mm -hmm. It should touch it. <laughs> to connect those dots, these ones. Oh, no. It's okay. I definitely messed it up a little bit. It's okay. Just go ahead and grab those. <laughs> okay. So on an actual coordinate plane or a grid paper, you can for sure see that it would be a straight line. But what do we notice about the red and the black line? What do we notice about those graphs? The red one is... Um Deeper. It's steeper. So mm -hmm. what does that mean? The the so many figures are do, doing slope. Yes, you know it. Slope. Slope. It's all about <laughs> slope. <laughs> okay. So what about the slope? The high. The bigger slope. Mm hmm Bigger slope. The bigger slope. So remember the bigger slopes they get steeper. So what slope did this have? One over one. So this was one. So. Slope of what? One. <laughs> what? You said the other day that it was rise over line. Right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So right. you did agree. So the slope of the black line equals one. And then the slope of the red line. And then the slope of the red line will be what? Why would it be two? Uh, so use that idea of what you did, rise or run. Yeah. So, so how would that be two? Two, two, of one. two dollars to uh -huh. one item. So it's up two over, over one. Beautiful. So it's two. Okay. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to do a couple more examples of this kind of graph, but great job today. Thank you. Thank you.